What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Big Fight Field channel where we speak the truth, we're honest, and we give out takes on the NFL, and it is week nine already of the NFL season. We have reached November. October is behind us. It's done. We now reach to November. And there we got December. And before you guys know it, the NFL playoffs are going to be here. We got a couple good games to talk about. There's some good games on here. You know, the best one I'm going to say for tomorrow, which you already guys know, the Miami Dolphins against the Kansas City Chiefs. That preview will be tomorrow. Um, here on the Big Fight Field channel, I've got a lot to say about this game. I am fucking pumped for this game against the Kansas City Chiefs in Germany. I cannot wait to talk about it tomorrow. But that is tomorrow, and this is today. And today is Thursday, so tonight is Thursday Night Football. We gotta get the picks in. And before we do, if you haven't already, be sure to go ahead and check out the video I made about James Harden getting traded away from the Philadelphia 76ers. He is a Los Angeles Clipper now. Thank the Lord that James Harden's gone. If you want my reaction to it, it's available right now on the channel. All you gotta do, it'll show up in the last 20 seconds of the video. All you gotta do is click on it and it'll take you right to the video but of course don't do that until you get to the end of this video until you get to the whole duration of this video let's dive into these games we have four teams on a bye this week the detroit lions the san francisco 49ers the jacksonville jaguars and the other team is the, 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 the Denver Broncos. So they're the teams not playing this week. The Broncos, the Jaguars, the 49ers, and the Lions. The Jaguars are currently the hottest team in the NFL right now with a five-game winning streak under their belt. Let's dive into these games. Starting tonight in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. They got the Tennessee Titans against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now the Titans, Will Levis, man, came in four touchdowns in his NFL debut, over 230 passing yards. I don't think Ryan Tannehill is going to see the field the rest of the season because that was one of the better NFL debuts I've seen from a quarterback in a very long time. He was very impressive. He has a cannon of an arm, and he's able to uh, get pocket awareness and uh, make plays. And that, that's what Ryan Tannehill wasn't able to do. Uh, he had no awareness, and he could not make plays at all. Um, and, and, and Will Levis, just he looked very, very comfortable in there against the Atlanta Falcons. That's for Pittsburgh. Offensive struggles, offense. The Matt Canada is such a bad offensive coordinator. It's crazy because I'm I'm. Whenever I get a chance to watch Steelers games, I'm watching the Steelers offense and I'm watching the way the Steelers run their offense, and then I'm watching my team. I'm watching the Miami Dolphins and I'm like, man, I'm so thankful for Mike McDaniel because these other offenses in the NFL. They're, like, so boring. The Steelers have one of the most boring offenses in the NFL right now, man. It's so lackadaisical. It's not even funny. Um, so there's a big game on the road for the rookie quarterback. I think it's a must-win game for, for both teams to stay alive in the playoff hunt. And I'm going to take Pittsburgh. I think being at home, they have the advantage. And even though the Titans had a very impressive performance on offense last week, I think that's going to digress. The Steelers have a very good front, and the Titans' offensive line is going to have to hold up. But I think it's going to be a Steelers win tonight in a very close but low-scoring football game. 
Then we get to the one o'clock games on Sunday, and these are the so far in the season. These are their worst slate of one o'clock games of the entire year. There's four good games this week. None of them are being played at one o'clock on Sunday. First, we have the Minnesota Vikings against the Atlanta Falcons. Now, both these teams are going to have new starting quarterbacks. The Atlanta Falcons are benching Desmond Ritter, and Taylor Heineke is going to be the new quarterback for the Falcons. And as for the Vikings, Kirk Cousins has a torn Achilles. I'm sorry if you guys hear that outside. My apologies. Um, Kirk Cousins has a torn Achilles, and he's out for the season, which is a bummer. It really is. I feel bad for it. the Vikings. They go out, and they traded for Josh Dobbs at the trade deadline. But if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, Josh Dobbs might be good to win a couple games. Like, he might get you to seven or eight wins. But I don't think Josh Dobbs is good enough to lead the Vikings to the playoffs. And this week, it's very tough call. I'm going to take the Atlanta Falcons at home, though, to get the win. Seattle Seahawks, Baltimore Ravens. I guess this is probably the best 1 o'clock matchup on the on the slate. Uh, Seattle's 5-2. and two. They're in first place of the NFC West. And the Baltimore Ravens, they are just on fire right now, man. They're 6-2. and two. They've won their last three games. And uh, Lamar Jackson is putting together an MVP caliber season, in my opinion. Um, that's going to be a really tough game when the Miami Dolphins have to play the Ravens later in the season. Um, but for this game, I feel like this is going to be a game that Seattle stays in it the most of the way, and the Ravens are going to pull away with it late in the fourth quarter, kind of like the Miami Dolphins did to the New England Patriots. The Patriots stayed in the game the entire time. They were down a touchdown with like four minutes to go, and the Dolphins pulled away. I think that's going to be this game on Sunday. Give me the Baltimore Ravens at home. The Arizona Cardinals against the Cleveland Browns. Do I even have to talk about this one in detail? Give me the Cleveland Browns as my lock of the week. That's right. The Cleveland Browns are my lock of the week right here on the Big Fight Field channel for week nine. Then we have... The Los Angeles Rams and the Green Bay Packers. An, a, another ugly game. And both teams are shit in the bed right now. The Rams are 3-5 and five, and the Packers are 2-5. and five. This game feels like whoever loses their season, whoever loses this game, it's going to be very hard for them to make a run. For the postseason. So this is a must win game for both teams. And I'm going to take. This is hard. I'm going to take the Packers. At home. Um, they were embarrassed last week. Put on a bad product on the field. And uh, I, if they don't win this game. I think their season's over. It's just going to be a tank for the rest of the season. They just traded Russell Douglas. To the Buffalo Bills, unfortunately. But um, I think the Packers are going to be motivated more than the Rams. Rams got to travel all the way to the frozen tundra. I think the Packers are going to take care of business. Then we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Houston Texans in Houston. Uh, the, the Texans... Our favor to win this game, but they're coming off a loss to the winless Carolina Panthers, or were winless Carolina Panthers, uh, and the Buccaneers. They're coming off a Thursday night loss to uh, the Buffalo Bills. What is their record right now? I think it's like three and four. The Buccaneers are three and four, and the Texans are three and four. I just think the Buccaneers are a better team. I think the Texans have a bright future, but they're not anything special. The Texans are not anything special at all right now. C.J. Stroud's a good quarterback. He's probably going to win Offensive Rookie of the Year. 
And uh, besides that, Nico Collins, Tank Dell, they really don't have much. Uh, and the Bucks, I, th- I think B- Baker Mayfield's playing very good this year, uh, at least for the first couple weeks. Um, he looked okay last week against Buffalo. I think the Buccaneers go to Houston. They get this W. It's my upset of the week. They're underdog by two and a half points. So, I, yeah, I am counting this as an upset. Uh, I'm taking the Bucks. I'm taking the Bucks to go to Houston and get the W. Um, Washington Commanders, they're going to Foxborough to face the New England Patriots. Uh, this one feels like a dud of a matchup. Both teams are pretty much out of playoff contention. Washington were sellers at the trade deadline. I have a feeling they're going to fire Ron Rivera at the end of the season. They are just going to tear it down and start over again. They just got new ownership. They just traded away Montez Sweat and uh, Chase Young. I feel as though that as for this season, Washington is out of it. They're just going to tear this shit down and start over after this season. I don't think they're in it for this year. Neither are the Patriots. They are at the bottom of the AFC, man. How crazy is that? The New England Patriots are at the bottom of the AFC. You don't hear that often. Um, But I am going to take the Patriots to win this game. They're home. Um, You know, Washington... I don't know how not having Chase Young and Montez Sweat is going to impact their defense. Um, I could see this being a very low-scoring game. And uh, at the end of the day, I'm going to take the Patriots by like a field goal or something. I don't know. It's going to be a very boring football game. Chicago Bears at New Orleans Saints. I'm taking the Saints. Um, Indianapolis Colts against the Carolina Panthers. Panthers coming off a win last week, man. And I feel like the Colts, they got off to a decent start this season. Uh, but I'm going to take the Panthers. They're riding high with the win they got last week. And, uh, you know, the Colts, they've dropped like three games in a row, I think. They've lost to Jacksonville. They've lost to the Browns when they should have won. They lost to the Saints last week. I think the Carolina Panthers are going to win this game. It's at home. For the Panthers. And I think there's something to look forward to. After that win last week. It might have been an ugly win. But that's a win to get excited about. If you're a Carolina Panthers fan. Going into this week. Against the Indianapolis Colts. And then. This is the shittiest game of them all. This week. You thought it couldn't get worse with these matchups. This is the worst one. We have. The New York Giants. Going to um, Las Vegas to face the Las Vegas Raiders, who have completely reset their organization after this week. They fired their head coach Josh McDaniels, which they should he should have been fired after last season. He was fired after the loss Monday night. They fired. The general manager, they fired, or or Mark Davis, the owner, fired Josh McDaniels, fired the general manager, fired the offensive coordinator, the linebackers coach is now the, uh, he's now the new head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders. I don't know who's calling plays for the Raiders, and the Raiders have benched Jimmy Garoppolo in favor of for Aiden O'Connor, uh, O'Connell, rookie quarterback, out of um, rookie quarterback out of um, out of Purdue, so they have completely re- restarted, and they should have traded Devonte Adams at the trade deadline. I'm kind of glad they didn't though, because dude, God forbid Devonte Adams went to like the Chiefs or the Bills. I would be pissed. I would have been pissed if he got traded to one of those teams. The Jets, that would have been brutal. So him staying in Las Vegas, it's fine with me. 
I I don't know how much longer he's going to stay in Vegas, but um, I literally don't know who's going to win this matchup. You can flip a coin. It's a battle of rookie quarterbacks, Tommy DeVito, Aiden O'Connell. I'm going to take the Giants. I, it's just everything that's going on in the Raiders organization this week. Are they heads? Are they are, are their heads really into this? I, I I just don't know. I don't know if they're really into this, man. I'm gonna take the the Giants in an ugly, ugly football game. And then we get into some some real shit. Finally, some good games to talk about. On the Sunday slate. The Dallas Cowboys. Going to Philly. To face the Philadelphia Eagles. On America's Game of the Week. It's going to be a good game. It's going to be a good game. Dallas looked very impressive. In every aspect of the game. Last week. But their issue is. It's kind of like the Dolphins. They have this cloud over their head. Where the media says they can't beat good teams in their conference. Or they're just good teams in general. They got smoked by the San Francisco 49ers. They've had trouble against the Eagles. Those two teams, like the Cowboys are almost right there. And they're not able to get over that hall. Of getting wins against teams like the 49ers and the Eagles. I do think they're going to get a win over the Eagles eventually. But I don't think it's going to be this week. This game being held in Philly. That Philly crowd is going to be fired up for this matchup. I think Jalen Hurts is going to have a very good game um, on the ground and in the air. I think it's going to be a Jalen Hurts takeover. And I do think that the Eagles are going to beat the Dallas Cowboys comfortly this weekend at Lincoln Financial Field. Then we have Sunday Night Football. And this is a big game. This is a big marquee game for the AFC. We have Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills going to Cincinnati to face Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, we all know what happened with these two teams last year okay number one this is the site where the Demar Hamlin uh, unfortunately collapsed on the field was being received of CPR the game was canceled because of it very very upsetting emotional moment um, so I hoping it's going to be a good night um, a warm welcome for Demar Hamlin back to Cincinnati and then also um, these two teams met in the playoffs in Buffalo where the Cincinnati Bengals controlled the entire game against the Buffalo Bills they were the leaders the entire game and they won that game 27 to 10. Cincinnati started off the season really slow one and three but they picked up steam. They beat the Cardinals. They beat the Seahawks. And last week, they went to San Francisco. Excuse me. And they beat they beat the 49ers by two touchdowns. And I feel like something's off. With the Buffalo Bills right now. I know they won last week. But they're having trouble against these mid-tier teams that um, I don't want to get into it. I, I, I want to focus on the Chiefs this week. I'm not going to get into it with the whole Bills fans. My point is um, that they're struggling against mid-tier teams. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they beat them by six. The New York Giants, they were a pass interference call away from losing to them. They lost to the New England Patriots. Um, and they've been struggling ever since they beat the Miami Dolphins 48-20. to They've been struggling. But 
I, I just don't know, man. I, I have this weird feeling in my mind that the Bills are going to win this game. I hope they don't, honestly. I hope they don't beat the Cincinnati Bengals this week. But I just have this weird feeling in my mind that the Bills are going to go to Cincinnati and win this game. So I hope I'm wrong, but I'm taking the Bills against the Cincinnati Bengals in Cincinnati. And then Monday night football, big game. Again, big game Monday night. Los Angeles Chargers at MetLife Stadium against the New York Jets. The Jets are good, man. Zach Wilson stinks, but the Jets have a fantastic running game, and they have maybe the best defense in the NFL right now. Um, the Chargers, they're coming off a blowout win against the Chicago Bears, but I am going to say this is a big test. For both teams, I think. It's a test for both teams. And I'm going to take... I'm going to take the Chargers. Because this game is going to come down to having Justin Herbert to make enough plays for the Chargers to win. And I think he'll do it. Hopefully. I'm taking the Chargers to go to MetLife on Monday night and get the win over the New York Jets. So those are my week nine NFL predictions. I will be back tomorrow here on the channel to talk about the Miami Dolphins and the Kansas City Chiefs. What a big time powerhouse matchup it's going to be this week in Germany. Of all games, the best game is at 9.30 in the morning. My ass will be waking up at 7 a.m. on Sunday, and I don't give a shit. Let's go, baby. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below your predictions for NFL Week 9. Hit the like button if you like what you heard from me, and follow me on Twitter, at Conlon underscore Joseph, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the preview of the Miami Dolphins against the Kansas City Chiefs right here on the Big Fight Fuel channel. You guys have a good night. Stay safe. And as always, stay classy and fins up. And I'm out. Peace!